All right. Well, hi, hello, and welcome to Maximizing Network Threat Detection, Enhancing Security with WWT, ExtraHop, and Gigamon. That is a rock star crew right there, let me tell you. Today's exciting webinar is sponsored by Gigamon and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Jess Steinbach. I'm with Actual Tech Media, and I'm so happy that I get to be your moderator for this conversation today because, hey, I'm excited to explore NDR. This is such a critical part of any solid cybersecurity strategy. And it really starts with that observability, right? And then we need to have the speed. We need to have the precision. We need to be able to move with that detection. So first we get the access to the data. We see the data, we have it there. And then that second piece of being able to take action on it. This is a really cool aspect of this conversation today. All those pieces coming together in order to help create that absolutely solid cybersecurity strategy that you are looking for in your organization. We are going to dig into some of these elements. We're going to get some practical tips, some high level ideas. It's going to be everything that you're looking for and more. I hope that you're as pumped up as I am on this beautiful, what is it, Tuesday morning? For some reason, I'm feeling very Monday vibes today, but our speakers here today, they are going to bring the Friday energy. I can tell <laughs> they're going to bring the party with them. We've got a lot of great stuff to get into. We got a lot to cover. I want to dig in but I have a few housekeeping points to help you get the most out of your time today, and then we'll jump right in. So let's start with a little bit of a guided tour of your webinar console. Now, I want to start you in the questions window. If you haven't already said hi or hello, I wanna hear from you. I see you, Zhang. Hey, Martin. Hey, John. We got Richard and Paul and Ed and Andrew and Reg and Jim. We got a whole awesome crew. Keep those highs and hellos coming. I want to hear from you all as we go through our day today. And more importantly than that, our speakers want to hear from you. Our speakers are going to be watching the questions come in. We're going to try to get to as many over live chat while we can. We have some excellent some multitaskers, so we'll see if we can be presenting as well as live chatting. Anything we don't get to in our conversation today, we're also going to make sure that you get answers back from the Gigamon crew. So be sure that you're getting your questions in throughout our conversation today. We absolutely want to hear from you. Now, that questions window is also the best place to reach out to our team if you're having any technical issues. Here's the first step, though. If something isn't working, if a slide isn't advancing or sound drops out unexpectedly, you're going to try a browser refresh. A browser refresh will clear out most of the usual tech gremlins. But if they've really got a hold of you today, no problem. That browser refresh doesn't work. You're going to post in the questions window. You're going to let our team know you're having some troubles and we will be there to help you out. All right. So we started out in the questions window. Now we're going over to the handouts tab. In the handouts tab, we have a ton of cool resources for you. You are going to want these resources after we finish our conversation. I promise they are fantastic follow-ups to the conversation that we're about to sit in on with our wonderful expert presenters. So make sure you've got those open. Now, don't start reading them in their entirety yet because we still have this wonderful presentation coming up. But when we close out, this is going to be a great way for you to jog your memory or share some of this information and insight with other members of your team. So make sure you've got those handouts open and ready. All right. So we did the questions tab. We did the handouts tab. The last thing I want to talk about is the prize giveaway. Today, we have a $250 Amazon gift card that we will be giving away at the end of our webinar. Now, you do need to be here in live attendance at the webinar in order to win. And all winners must meet the actual tech media prize terms and conditions. If you don't have those memorized, no problem. We have the full T's and C's listed for you in that handouts tab. So just scroll on over and you will find them waiting for you there underneath all those wonderful resources that we were just talking about. I see some more highs and hellos coming in. Hey, on back, Travis. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, Olivia. Welcome. Glad to have you all here with us today. Keep those questions rolling in because bum -da -dum, I'm going to kick things over to our incredible expert panel that we have here with us today. And as you can see, this is quite the crew. I'm going to start out by introducing our returning veteran to our webinars here. Of course, that is the one and only Martin Crew. Martin is the Senior Director, Solutions and Partner Technologies at Gigamon. And today, Martin is joined by Matt Berry, Global Field Cyber CTO at WWT, and Grant Dishman, Director of Channel Sales Engineering at ExtraHop. Now, Martin, Matt, and Grant, Thank you so much for being here with us today on this wonderful webinar. I can't wait to hear what you have in store for us. Matt, I think you are going to play host for this conversation today. So I'm going to hand things right on over to you. Take it away. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, we are here today to talk about maximizing network threat detection, unlocking speed, precision, 
and efficiency in NDR. I'm your host today, Matt Berry, uh, AVP and Global Field CTO of Cyber at WWT.com. Just a little bit about our topic today. Uh, NDR itself is a critical component in most organizations' cybersecurity tool stack, and ExtraHop is one of the leaders in the NDR market. Also, Gigamon Deep Observability Pipeline increases the speed and precision of ExtraHop's threat detection by ensuring that it has access to all network traffic, regardless of whether this is data center or cloud traffic. And I'm joined here by uh, two distinguished guests from ExtraHop and Gigamon uh, to talk about this a little bit more and unpack this uh, this topic and work through a case study. So uh, we're gonna go through just a few introductions here. So uh, first I'm gonna start with Grant. Uh, so Grant Dishman is the Director of Channel Sales Engineering at ExtraHop. He has over 25 years of experience in cybersecurity, startups, consulting, technology leadership. And at ExtraHop, he spearheads enablement initiatives he designs and manages go-to-market strategies, and he guides service delivery for channel and MSP partners. That's a that is a mouthful. That's a lot of responsibility. So, Grant, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hey, thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Awesome. Uh, and then we're also joined by Martin Crew. Uh, Martin Crew is with Gigamon. He's the senior director of solutions marketing and partner technologies. He works with customers and partners such as uh, WWT to understand market trends and ensure that Gigamon solutions are relevant to the business and the technology needs of our customers. Uh, just like Grant Martin has been in the industry for a long time, I think probably a little over 30 years now, uh, with experience in security, networking, cloud, IoT, and, and pretty much everything that uh, uh, is in the technology stack. I think, uh, Martin, probably at this point, you've, you've seen it all. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we're uh, really happy to have you um, uh, on this webinar. And just to kick things off, uh, Martin, I think I'm going to hand it over to you. If you can give us just a few minutes on on Gigamon, uh, and then uh, we'll we'll bring Grant into the conversation. Matt, that's great. Thank you, and thank you for the generosity of describing me as a distinguished guest. That's very nice indeed. So I've got three slides, um, and then we're going to get into the meat of the discussion uh, with Grant. So first thing I just want to do is give you a little bit of background about Gigamon. So we are one of the leaders in hybrid cloud deep observability. So that means the ability to see everything that's going on within the network, capture that traffic, and then send it to the tools like Extra Hop that need to see it, in order to deliver the speed and the precision of detections uh, to enhance organization security. We just celebrated our 20th birthday, and we have about 4,000 customers worldwide, built on a deep technology stack with 140 patents, and our customers around the world are some of the largest, most complex, most sensitive, and therefore most highly defended, but equally most highly attacked, organizations in the world. So when it comes to security, we really know our stuff. But of course, Gigamon is what our name suggests. We're a way to capture and to share information. And this the, the real ability to deliver value to customers comes from working with our tools and our partners. So this slide kind of captures the way that the three companies here work together to really deliver that customer value. So we're very much in the business of observing all the network traffic. Extra Hop is in the business of detecting the threats based on the, the packet flow from Gigamon or from their own capability across an organization's entire physical, private, and public cloud infrastructure. And then WWT really is, if you don't mind me saying, Grant, the brains of the operation. They're the people who build the solutions for customers that ensures that those customer IT environments are secure and achieving all of their goals in terms of their security posture. So really is the combination of the three companies and so that together we can detect and respond to these threats, both efficiently, completely, and cost-effectively. And we'll return to that cost idea at the end of the webinar. 
Last slide on Gigamon. So we are focused, uh, as we've said, on ensuring that any workload in any hybrid infrastructure, we can capture the traffic from those workloads, understand them through deep packet inspection, transform them. So do things like deduplication, because obviously in a complex environment, you may be tapping traffic at many places and seeing that traffic several times over. So basic stuff like deduplication or more advanced things like advanced filtering based on the applications that have generated the traffic or slicing so that you don't need to look at an entire flow. You can determine where it's from, is it a trusted source? And if yes, you don't need to look at everything within that stream. So we can transform that traffic. We can enrich it with the full context of seeing everything across the network and then deliver it to the tools that need to see it. So NDR, like today uh, with the extra hop focus or any of the other security and performance monitoring and observability tools, including your SIM that you're using on the network. So quick summary. So we capture traffic from any workload, whether it's OT, IoT devices, or IT infrastructure. We can work across any platform, so it really doesn't matter uh, where you're working, uh, whether it's cloud, virtualized, on-premises, and then finally work with any tool. But today, we're focused on ExtraHop, so I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Grant, and he's going to take it from here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for turning over. So today we'll talk about ExtraHop and how we work with Gigamon. Um, you know, at ExtraHop, our mission is to reveal cyber risk and help you build business resilience. And, and we do this by working with partners like Gig Gigamon to give you visibility into cyber threats, security hygiene issues, network and application performance problems that affect your organization. You know, we know that that mission sounds a bit simple, but we understand the risks you face are harder to navigate, higher in impact, and are frequently now interrelated. You know, threat actors now threaten organizations' resilience and profitability in ways we've never imagined. To reveal risk and build business resilience, we focus on the network. Um, we believe the network delivers a powerful source of truth transparency and history into cyber threats and performance issues across all assets in an enterprise, from cloud, on-prem to endpoints. You know, the network sees everything, shows everything, and maintains a record of the places that attackers try to hide. You know, Together with partners like WWT and Gigamon, we can investigate smarter, stop threats faster, and move at the speed of risk. Thanks for that, Grant. Um, just a question for you. I was just reading in the news today, um, came across an updated statistic. So 4.88. So 4.88 million, that's the global average cost of a data breach uh, here in 2024. So that's an increase of 10% over last year. It's been the highest number uh, that we have ever seen in the industry. And you know, as you're speaking about network visibility, managing cyber risk. Can you just explain a little bit about how ExtraHop can offer customers an advantage um, in, in combating today's threats and really trying to um, avoid that extremely high cost of a, of a data breach of a security incident overall? Yeah, certainly. So first let me say this, you know, when we walk into an environment with Gigamon, it makes life at ExtraHop better. You know, with Gigamon, we know we're going to get a nice data feed filtered for data relevance. You know, we're going to see the things that we care about, you know. And once that feed's live, we can go to work providing complete attack surface visibility for layers two through seven for over 90 protocols, including complex protocols like Kerberos, PowerShell, and Active Directory. Um, and the protocols those use uh, 
we see those in ransomware campaigns. You know, we reveal that cyber risk by identifying that bad behavior, anomalous activity, things that don't look quite right, you know, and then attacks and more. You know, if you're a bad actor, you don't even know about us. We don't even exist because Gigamon's going to send us the data. We're not even a bump in the wire in the network itself. We are a passive out of band platform. So we can't be bypassed. We can't be turned off. Uh, and we're going to see everything that is given to us by Gigamon. So that allows us to provide faster resolution uh, thanks to advanced machine learning and AI that we applied over 1 million models across 5,000 or so different metrics that we applied the protocols that we analyzed. And that helps us uncover those suspicious activities uh, and gain complete visibility of risks, even inside of encrypted traffic, including TLS 1.3. We can scale to throughput of over 100 gig, and we can be further enhanced by third-party threat feeds or our IDS or packet forensics module. You know, ExtraHop will give organizations visibility and real-time analytics into cyber threats, vulnerabilities, network performance issues can evade existing security and IT tools. And that's going to give you AI-enriched contextual data that helps an organization reduce cyber risk uh, and gives you what we call faster time to magic. Um, that's going to get you instant network and SLA defense, help faster detection times, and then faster return to frameworks and, and compliance. Thanks for that, Grant. Now, I, I know um, I, I I may have seen your deck ahead of time, so I may may know where you're headed with this. But um, uh, just curious, you know, in terms of cloud native network security, um, how how does ExtraHop reveal X and in Gigamon? So, Martin, feel free to chime in here. Um, how can those tools be leveraged to help reduce costs? Yeah, thanks for asking. So, you know, working with Gigamon, RevealX can provide ability to consolidate tools on both the network and the security side. Um, we're often bringing teams together to collectively investigate and stop threats, investigate issues across the network and ensure availability of all services. You know, and because we support hybrid environments, you know, physical, virtual, cloud and container across a single platform, those organizations can leverage centralized detections, alerts, and investigations. You know, delivered with integrations for over 230 alliance partners, such as Gigamon, uh, we can help companies maximize existing technology investments, get more out of their spend, help collapse tool sprawl, and, and reduce that need for many disparate point solutions that solve problems in one location, but not another. Um, you know, we provide that full context in one-click investigation workflows for every detection, for every packet that we see from Gigamon, resulting in up to 99% faster detections and 87% faster resolution. Uh, we help security and network teams turn from being reactive to proactive. You know, with this collaborative insight, uh, organizations can investigate smarter, stop threats faster, and make sure that applications and operations keep running. Uh, and then to further enhance that, when we partner with Gigamon, they can help provide additional efficiency as well, even for us. You know, So a Gigamon traffic aggregation can help us reduce CPU overhead and interface consumption on our devices, uh, making sure that the flows that they send us are maintained on the same port uh, across our sensors. And you couple that with their ability to do deduplication, packet filtering, you can quickly see how leveraging both Gigamon and ExtraHop, uh, getting us working together to secure that infrastructure and ensure availability across the entire network uh, can help reduce investigation times and cut costs dramatically. Yeah, that's great. Now, I guess uh, a question that I have, um... I have an engineering background, and so as I as I look at slides like this and the 
um, the, the different features, the functionality, where you play well. Um, the, the first question that that pops into my mind, like where where my head goes is, you know, when, when we talk about NDR, when we talk about gaining network visibility, um, you know, extra hop is certainly not the only one that that plays in this space. So I guess my question, Grant, is, you know, what what makes extra hop unique in this space um, in, you know, you guys sort of shine above everyone else? What what are those differentiators? Yeah, so we we could spend a lot more time on this than just the time we have today about this. But I, I want to highlight a few things that I think separate the architecture from the product or, you know, make us unique in the space uh, and definitely provide value for our customers. Um, you know, one of the first things is, you know, automated asset discovery. You know, out of the box, mo the majority of the time we install the product, the first thing that customers notice is that we maintain an accurate and up-to-date inventory of devices across their entire network. So unlike other products in the market, we continually analyze this asset and we keep an inventory that allows you to identify active directory resources, PCs without an EDR agent, you know, and then we cover that concern, you know, what do we do about BYOD, IOT or other unknown devices that get dropped on the network that don't have an agent, you know, with reveal X, you can pass passively monitor that network traffic. Uh, and that extract the details about that device. Um, and that's going to give you an accurate device inventory without causing any performance issues. We don't have to install an agent uh, to get that information. And that real-time inventory provides that contextual insight uh, when we're doing detections and investigations. And that's going to link events to actual devices and provide alerts for that activity that matches that bad behavior or things that just don't look right. You know, cyber strategies like segmentation, zero trust, and others rely on first knowing what's out there. Uh, you know, if you don't see it or don't know about it, you can't protect it. So RevealX helps expose those devices that are putting packets on the wire uh, and help ensure that those initiatives are successful. Uh, the second thing I, I, I really like uh, is our AI powered search assistant. So this allows you to use Reveal X as your threat hunting companion, and it's gonna enable teams to search for indicators of attack through natural language to help detect threats faster. So you can gain better understanding of your attack surface using plain English, you know, hey, which workstations aren't running an endpoint agent or which devices have attributes associated with this known security threat. Uh, behind the scenes, that same search assistant is going to suggest relevant queries based on your environment and what it sees as potentially risky and bubble that up. And then finally, smart investigations. So, you know, not to use or overuse the term, you know, AI, machine learning, but smart investigations uses our machine learning architecture uh, that's going to power those investigations by correlating detections that mask to high-risk attack patterns. So uh, if I'm looking across an infrastructure at attack data and things match a campaign or match risky behavior, I'm able to take that real-time network insight and prioritize those critical threats accelerate the investigation and response time by stitching that story together. So we automate those time-consuming tasks of like threat hunting, alert correlation, and triage and help those teams recoup that time. And so they can be spending that time on critical threats uh, and more effectively managing their cyber risk. And then finally, the, the big difference for us is giving organizations the ability to do full packet capture uh, in retrospective intelligence. You know, so you can store 30, 90, or 100 days of network history, including full PCAP data, and then we apply retrospective detection of issues and past activity. So we'll go back through those packet captures and that data that you're storing, and we prevent 
or automate that task and prevent the need for you to manually search for IOCs and that network data. And we'll let you know whether or not you were protected against an event or an attack in the past. Uh, it helps accelerate identification of attack campaigns and minimize that dwell time in an organization. Th those are just a few of the highlights, a few of my favorites, uh, things that uh, show immediate value, but there's a lot to talk about here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure, Grant. So, so that's really helpful. And, and to sort of go through that list of sort of the key differentiators. Now, you know, I'm, I'm a story person. And, and I think for a lot of the, um, a lot of our audience here who are listening in, you know, having a, a case study really helps solidify, you know, how these different differentiators, these, these different features can be, um, uh, put into play and really drive value for customers. So whether it's a, you know, cloud migration or their digital transformation journey, um, I think you have a story prepared for us of uh, how a Fortune 500 uh, retail customer was able to leverage ExtraHop to sort of achieve the business outcomes that they were looking for. Is that right? I do. Thanks. Yeah. So, you know, I want to tie it together. I'm a story guy as well. So let's tie it together on how ExtraHop and Gigamon can help reduce cloud cost and reduce cyber risk. You know, we all work with companies that are either dipping their toe in the cloud or they're jumping everything into the cloud or they're somewhere in between, you know. Um, and that migration away from legacy data centers and, and into the unknown or into a cloud environment uh, can be a daunting task for a lot of companies. So in this case, we worked with a Fortune 500 retail company that has a global network of brands. They have 5,000 locations across 12 countries, and they had an ambitious journey to migrate everything to AWS for greater scalability and performance. So what we traditionally do is help them identify uh, visibility across their entire service delivery chain. So let's take a look at what you're doing today uh, and what you want to do when we migrate to the cloud. And, you know, for example, on an average day, you know, they process approximately eight orders a second, you know, but on, on days like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you know, that number explodes exponentially with orders hitting as high as maybe 45 a second, you know. And with RevealX, we allow or enable the IT team to monitor those transactions in real time as they happen. And now IT is the first to know how sales are going on a given day. Uh, we can tell the business in real time how sales compare year over year. Uh, and then we can help the IT team establish capacity benchmarks for high traffic retail days, preventing issues as they scale out to support uh, that transaction uptick. Uh, and then, you know, to minimize service and business process disruption as we begin that lift and shift of the cloud or we scale more workloads into the cloud, uh, they use ExtraHop to map all of their applications and dependencies uh, and create move groups based on that data. We also did performance analysis of all of their applications and network data inside the data centers, their physical data centers before we took them to the cloud. So they had historical performance data. And as they lift and shift into AWS, we can ensure that that migration works well. And then those performance benchmarks allow us to gauge whether or not they're reaching their SLAs and achieving that performance that the cloud is supposed to offer uh, with that historical perspective. So altogether, we can ensure that their applications are performing at or better than the level they were in the data center we can help them improve that end user experience and business performance. You know, we all know that the cloud has given them much better speed to market and provides them that elasticity and scale they need to rapidly meet the business demands their physical or legacy data center could no longer provide. That That's great, Grant. And this has been a great overview of how Extra hop uh, can can really help you know customers keep that those costs in check like you mentioned 
ensure that business continuity and performance. Uh, but I also see on the slide here that it's controlling cloud costs, not only with extra hop, but also Gigamon. And Martin, I'm sure you're chomping at the bit right now to hop in and just talk about how Gigamon also contributes to this story of just yeah. reducing cloud costs overall. Yeah, absolutely. So if you don't mind going, that, that's great. Okay, so build the slide out, Grant. I'll just talk to it. Yes, yeah, since you two uh, claimed the ground as the, the story guys, I'd better claim the ground as the numbers guy here. So at Gigamon, we've been focused for four years and really trying to understand how we can reduce cost. Um, as Grant mentioned, we've got techniques like deduplication, flow slicing, advanced filtering that can reduce the amount of traffic that various tools, particularly on-premises tools, are seeing from the network. And that makes those tools more efficient. Maybe you need fewer instances of those tools as you move forward. And the last couple of years, we've been thinking, well, how does this apply in the cloud? Because obviously life is different in the cloud. So we've had a project in place to look at the ways that you would extract traffic from a number of cloud environments. Here we're talking about AWS, but it's equally applicable to Azure, to GCP as well. So we've benchmarked using Gigamon versus using the, the native tools of those platforms. And what we've discovered is the way that the Gigamon agent, which in the cloud we call the universal cloud tap, the way that that works compared to the way other tools work from, in this case, AWS, is very different and very much more efficient. So, for example, to achieve the same goal with the same workload with AWS, you often need to add load balances. You need to add gateways. You need to add various compute capabilities. With Gigamon, you don't need those. So we're simplifying the amount of services that you would need to have in an AWS environment to extract traffic at exactly the same fidelity as you would using those AWS services. Now, putting numbers on it, it really is quite a significant difference. Um, the, the numbers here are for an NDR example, and we are actually doing a lot of work with extra hops specifically around this type of cost reduction. So just using the AWS tools themselves, uh, the cost of doing that was around about $16,000 per month. Using a combination of Gigamon on top of those, aid, of, on top of a fewer number of AWS services, that actually came down to less than 5,000 a month. So a reduction by a factor of about 3x. And we see this across the board. So whether it's uh, regardless really of the tools that, the, that you're using, we see this over and over again, that using the, the Gigamon Universal Cloud Tap, we can reduce costs very, very significantly. Grant took the example earlier on of people doing a cloud migration. And obviously this is a very important issue for people migrating to the cloud. As they migrate to the cloud, they want to maintain the same security posture, the same level of visibility that they've had on premises. But maybe the costs of doing that mean they would have to make choices. Which data are we gonna look at? Are we gonna look at it in all of its granularity or are we just gonna look at it at a summary level? Using Gigamon, in this environment, you do not have to make those choices. You can still see the same detail that you're used to on premises, but replicate that in the cloud. So that's one example. The second example would be that for a company who's not using maybe cloud-based NDR, and they're looking at that for the first time, you know, they'll work with a great uh, reseller like WWT. They'll be recommended a product like ExtraHop. And then they get down to, well, what's it actually going to cost? And at that stage, you know, many companies do have sticker shock. They are very, very surprised at how much these cloud costs are and how quickly they build up. Again, using Gigamon, we can help reduce those costs to maybe make this a much more affordable option for an organization that's not been using cloud NDR at this point. So a couple of different scenarios, a couple of ways that we can actually help people ensure they have the granularity of data that ExtraHop needs to do its job, uh, but do it at a very affordable cost. Yeah, that's great, Martin. And and you touched on a lot of things that that I'm familiar with. Um, you know, having worked with both Gigamon an extra hop and, and we engage with uh, a number of customers in that 
that cloud migration and and sort of working through sometimes that that sticker shock of you know oh my word i've i've moved so much to the cloud and now i need to you know pull it back i need to go through an assessment and an appraisal of you know of our data our applications our infrastructure and and really you know take a a, a fine tooth comb to the uh, cost optimization that's there. And so we're thankful to to be able to partner with uh, with the likes of, of Gigamon and ExtraHop to be able to um, to be able to accelerate that outcome uh, for our customers. Uh, Grant, is there anything that you'd like to to add to what we have here? Yeah, you know, one of the great things about the partnership between ExtraHop and Gigamon is just the sheer depth of use cases where we can help reveal cyber risk and reduce operational costs. You know, we we talk about the lift and shift to the cloud, but I wanted to highlight just a few of the many use cases that we have um, and let you know that we also have a joint solution brief and a case study for your review. Uh, but we're out there to help. Uh, customers with any challenges that are out there uh, and reach out to partners like WWT when you need that expertise and guidance. Um, and we really appreciate the chance to get in front of you today and give you just a little taste of what we're able to do together. Awesome. Thank you, Grant. So uh, so for those of you who are on the phone or not on the phone on the webinar today, I uh, just want to thank you for joining uh, I'm Matt Berry, your host here at Worldwide Technology, uh, Martin Crew from Gigamon, Grant Dishman from ExtraHop. I just want to thank you for joining. And um, uh, as, as you encounter those challenges around, uh, you know, reducing cloud costs, cloud migration, digital transformation, uh, we'd hope that you keep some of the information we covered today in mind. And we'd love to partner with you and help you achieve the outcomes that you're looking for in a secure way. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you guys so much. And, I, and Matt, you know, I have to really echo that last sentiment that you made there is it's a lot of what we're talking about right now is, is you know, reaching the goals that we have in mind and, and building the infrastructure that we're dreaming of and building the opportunities into our organizations without sacrificing efficiency and definitely and really, you know, importantly here without sacrificing security uh, and making sure that we are walking that line of creating new opportunities without opening up new threat vectors. And that is not an easy balance. And I think today we got some great ideas for how to move those projects forward. And, and Travis, I see saying thanks for the informative session. I totally agree. I think uh, I, I certainly learned a lot today uh, and I know that you all did as well. Now, if you're looking to learn a little bit more, you want to keep the information session going. You know, unfortunately, we are getting very close to the end of time here. So we are going to move our speakers or maybe we'll see if we can get to a few more questions on live chat. But I know it's a, it's pretty close to the end of time here. So that might be a bit rushed. Instead, what I'm going to do is ask all of you if you have lingering questions or you have questions that we haven't gotten to please do keep getting those into the questions tab. We are going to make sure that all of them get sent to Gigamon and we'll get answers back from Martin and the crew. So you will hear back from Gigamon. So make sure you send those questions into us in that window right now. And we'll make sure that we get you some answers in return. Now, another great way that you can get additional information is to, we've, we've sort of put an easy button up on your screen right here. There's a little Christmas shopping list for you or a, a August, it's August, right? Oh my goodness. An August shopping list for you on, <laughs> on uh, what you would like to get as additional information from Gigamon. So there's all kinds of ways that you can follow up. And, and we all know that's, you know, for some of us, hey, I love watching videos. I love being a part of, go figure, I love being a part of webinars and conversations, right? But, you know, white papers have their value as well. Sometimes being able to send somebody a quick and easy reference document, that is the way that they want to learn. That's the way that they want to get that information. They don't have an hour to sit in a webinar, but they can scan a document. And then once you've got them hooked, then you get them into the demo or you get them in into the you know the future webinars and conversations with the the teams themselves so However you think would be helpful to move that conversation forward, click on that wish list right now and make sure that you get that from Gigamon. Now, a final way, see if, if we're just giving you info on top of info here, a final way that you can learn a little bit more. And if you remember back to the top of the webinar, we were talking about that handouts tab and I said, make sure you've got those open. Don't read them just yet because we've got our whole webinar ahead of us. Well, now is the time. Now is the time to go back to those handouts. So if you open those tabs before, reopen them now. If you close them down or you haven't opened them yet, make sure you've got 
got those handouts open on your computer before you leave today. I promise you will want those handouts uh, to take with you to spend a little bit more time with. So we're talking about the Seattle Cancer, Cancer Care Alliance. I don't know why that was a tongue twister for me. The Seattle Cancer Care Alliance improves visibility across virtual and physical infrastructure with Gigamon. There's an incredible case study. Gigamon provides deep observability across multi-layer network of Sao Paulo's finance department and uncompromised security across your infrastructure with Gigamon and Extra Hop gain complete visibility and establish a robust security posture, which is of course what we are all looking to do here is get that robustness, right? I love that word. I don't get to use it enough. Uh, robust. There we go. I'm going to throw it in one more time. All right, so make sure you've got those handouts. Make sure you spend some time with that. You know, as, as our wonderful speaker said today, there's storytelling that goes on behind all of this, right? There's the there's the technology, there's the tools, there's the important things, you know, the high level concepts and trends that we're all thinking about all the time. And at the end of the day, we are all in a story. Our organization has its own story. Every project that we're working on, the people involved are part of that story. And so it's really important to spend some time learning about the bigger storytelling that goes on around these. What are the impacts? What is the ROI? What are the opportunities that are provided with some of these tools? And today, I think we got some really great insight into both the, the uh, context and the stories and then the hard tactics and actionable steps that we can take to help increase to get to that place where we feel that we have a robust security posture. All right. Well, to all of you out there who have now clicked on the handouts, you've entered in your questions, you've clicked on the poll, you've got all those things going. I am going to reward that hard work with a prize giveaway. We have a $250 Amazon gift card that's going to go to someone who is here live and present at the webinar. And that special someone is Josh Childs from Utah. Josh Childs from Utah. Congratulations, Josh. You have won a $250 Amazon gift card. So stay tuned for that. We will follow up with you after we wrap up the webinar. All right. Well, on that note, I think it's about time that we have to wrap things up. I wish we didn't because there's clearly lots more to cover here, but you know, we'll leave it here for now and we'll just have to try to get all these wonderful speakers on back with us again. Uh, on that note, a huge thank you to Gigamon for making this webinar possible, especially to Grant, to Martin and to Matt. You have all given us a lot to think about, lots of, uh, you know, interesting insight to kind of spend some time mulling over this afternoon. So as I said, bringing bring the Friday feels to this Tuesday and, and really giving us a little bit of excitement uh, this morning, afternoon, wherever you're joining us from, which of course brings me around to all of you. My biggest high fives, my biggest gold stars and thank yous always go to all of you here in the audience because these discussions are not possible without you. So I want to take a minute here and really acknowledge the time that you've taken out of your day to come in and join us, to learn, to ask some fabulous questions. Uh, I really love seeing that, that chat kind of sparkle and, and light up. So I, I'm glad to see that all of your brains were firing on all cylinders today. We got a lot of information and a lot of things that we can kind of uh, start to consider taking action on and what this would enable within our organization. So I hope that you continue these conversations and, and this act of discovery as you move forward in your day. I hope that we'll get to see you all at a webinar again soon. And until then, have an absolutely beautiful end to your day. Thanks all.